Of course I'm worried, and you should be too. Harley Quinn and poor Captain America never returned from this awful place. Don't be so sure. If I told you half the things I've heard about this Denobi too, you'd probably short circuit. R2, are you sure this is the right place? I better knock, I suppose. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Let's go back and tell Hot Toys. Goodness gracious me! R2 D2 Bo se 3 P A Tuta Od Mishka Danobi 2? I don't think they're going to let us in, R2. We'd better go. Oh, R2! Ah, to wait for me! Why, hello there. How can I help you two? We come to deliver a message to the great Denobi too. Well, you're in luck. You found him. Walk this way, will ya? Welcome to my humble abode. Now, how can I help you two? Hurry, R2, and deliver the message. <laughs> wait a minute. Restore Harley Quinn back to her original body? There will be no bargain. I will not give up my favorite decoration. I actually like Harley right where she is. <laughs> oh, do look, Harley Quinn, and she's still frozen in her vice and body. Hello everybody, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour on boxing. You have just met Tamashi Nation's C-3PO and the Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2. Now, I, I felt it was important to start off uh, getting exposure to the Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2 so that when you finally got to meet the Hot Toys version, you can somehow tell the difference between both of them because I noticed on the online forums there was confusion. A lot of folks said it looked alike, it, it, it looked different it you know the sideshow collectibles was was better the hot toys version was better i like to start off with this video stating that i think both r2d2s have their strong points have their have their value um and in the end of the video you'll you'll understand you know where i'm coming from and ultimately which r2 i decide to love more the boxing is is is, is, is you is unique to the point that why am I purchasing another R2D2? Well, I, I like the droids. I've always had a big fondness and love for the droids. If, if any of you have ever followed me on the channel, I do love C3PO and I do love R2D2. So the fact that uh, that uh, Hot Toys was uh, gonna make an R2D2, I could not resist, especially a diecast version because I feel that droids. Uh, or robots should be portrayed in the action figure form uh, as close as possible to their real counterparts. Uh, R2D2 is a robot, so it should in you know should have parts that are made out of metal. Now, right off the bat, it feels it feels good, meaning that the quality is there. It, it feels sturdy. Uh, it, it it feels very well built. I I'm. I'm really impressed. I really, really am. And this is one of the things I really do enjoy about these unboxings with you is, is that I get to experience this with you. And and I'm kind of going through the uh, through the checks and balances here. And it just feels great. I, I know this sounds funny, but again, if you saw my original review of the Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2, it felt cheap and it felt flimsy. This ratchet system here, I'm already I'm already impressed. I would like that. that. That clicking sound that you hear. I didn't get that from the Sideshow version. In fact, I'll be quiet here so that you can hear that 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 that, uh, that sound coming from me. That's coming from the actual R2, that, that skid. And this is what I'm talking about as far as being built. It, it, the Sideshow collectibles always felt cheap. It felt very poorly constructed. It looks good, you know, but when you handle it and you decide to display it, it, it it's not the same. Now, 
th I mean, I, I gotta say, I mean, <laughs> the Sideshow Collectibles RGD2 is definitely the poor cousin out of this because this just looks fantastic. Another thing that, that caught my eye is the, the eye pip here. I mean, you can see the quality and the attention to detail that Hot Toys put compared to the Sideshow Collectibles version. You can see it looks like there's a like a, a glass lens protruding out of this this pip here. It, it just it caught me off guard. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I, I never really paid that much attention to the eye pip. Well, of course I didn't because if you look at the Sideshow Collectibles version, it's sort of like a little sheet of plastic. It, it's not it's not bubble form. Uh, it's it's the little details. It's the, it's the little things like this that separate Hot Toys from the other guys. It's it's this stuff here, you know. Um, and I, I'm pointing out to it because it's to me it's impressive. Like wow, I, Hot Toys is really taking uh, attention to detail. The the paint application on the Sideshow Collectibles is good, but in my opinion, the Hot Toys uh, uh, paint application just looks better. Uh, it, it could very well be the the, uh, the stainless steel dome here. This this dome, which I'm I'm saying it's stainless steel, but I would probably would guess it's machined aluminum. Uh, another thing that I notice here is the is the quality to the wheels there. You can see the the big difference there. Uh, the the side dimensions and and so forth. It almost looks like the R2 is bigger. It almost looks like the size and dimension of the R2 unit is a lot bigger. It's really weird. I, I you know, you would think for the 1-6 scale, uh, it, it wouldn't, but if I had to guess, and I, I don't have a ruler, I would say that the Hot Toys R2 is slightly bigger. Or slightly larger, not bigger, but larger. Uh, I'm popping the head off here because I, I want to kind of get this thing powered up here. And it, it's it's unique. It just pops right off compared to the to, to Sideshow version. It twists. Oh my! Now there are two of them? Indeed. Uh, indeed it is. Again, you're not getting a lot of accessories. I, I guess in their defense, R2 in The Force Awakens didn't really do much. I mean, he was in sleep mode. So th the fact that, I guess, that Hot Toys is included in a remote with sound effects, I guess it, it's a plus. But again, come going back to the Sideshow Collectibles version, uh, it did include, it does include a lot, a lot of attachment accessories. So, the Sideshow Collectibles version is based off of the classic trilogy, meaning that if you want Archie to serve drinks, you could. Uh, if you want him to access a data port, you could. This Hot Toys R2-D2 version is really is the sleep mode version that we saw at the end of Force Awakens. And the only thing that R2 really did was power up and show a holographic display of, of the of the map to find Luke. Look at this right here. Check this out. The eye pips there. You get three lit eye pips compared to the Sideshow Collectibles version. Again, it's it's those little extra features on there. And I'll try to be quiet so that you can hear the, the sound effects as I power this bad boy up. This is nice. This is this is really nice. Again, the the sound effects here uh, do make up for the lack of accessories that the Sideshow Collectibles uh, does have. But uh, again, how many of you are going to display R2 serving drinks on Java Sail Barge? Well, not 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 a lot. I mean, I guess it's cool, but I really don't want a bartending R2. I I kind of just like the classic in this stance here, where this is two legs. And I really do like that that Tamashi Nation's C-3PO just looks great with this version. It, it, it just does. Well, it's quite obvious this little droid was not made in the factories of Geonosis. <laughs> uh, look, there, it, it, it looks great. I mean, this is, this is the classic. This is the two droids that made cinematic history, and uh, they, they, they do look great together. Uh, I, I kind of just playing around with it because I, I'm just really overall impressed on how great it looks. I mean, it does look fantastic. And, and again, I, I really want to kind of focus the difference between 
the Sideshow Collectibles and the Hot Toys Collectibles. Uh, again, you know, there's a price difference. You know, the, the, the Hot Toys R2 is obviously a little bit more. I think retails for 220 But, you know, the Sideshow Collectibles version is also expensive, too. It's 150 bucks. So, yeah, C3, I, I can tell which one you like. This is by far a better well-built droid. Oh, yes, indeed. Honestly, it just is. I mean, it really is just a very well-built product. The craftsmanship, the quality, it's just there. I would have to just, I, I this out of out of between Sideshow and Hot Toys, I love this one a lot better. It looks good. It's just a lot better. <laughs> By now, it's clear, Master Denobi Two, you prefer the Hot Toys version over Sideshow's own. Look, if you're a big fan of the droids like I am, uh, you gotta get this one. You gotta add them to collections. I, I really do think it's worth it. I really do. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and uh, um, if you guys heard my dog squeal, it's because I kicked him. <laughs> he was annoying the hell out of me. <laughs> See ya.